Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And today we are working on a project where we are going to turn this palette and these uh, herbs, hopefully, into a beautiful planner uh, for our patio. I've tried a couple of different planners in the past for herbs. They didn't work out real well. And so this year, we are going to give this a whirl. So um, not totally sure how we're going to do this. One of my thoughts, I've got a bunch of these pots left over, so I thought about maybe putting them on there and coming out um, over that way. Or the other thing is uh, putting, as I've seen done, and I'm sure you have before, putting a bottom in here and just filling this with dirt. So we're going to come up with something. But um, anyhow, that's our plan. The sun is setting, so we've got to get to work on this real fast. Probably won't get it all done tonight, but we're going to get a good jump on it. So let's go. So I think what we've decided to do is to go ahead and uh, take these um, pots and use them. And I'm going to build uh, a railing to hold them in place. And uh, so I'm going to cut this piece off, actually, and use that as one of the railings. And uh, hopefully... Uh, this will come out the way we expect it to. So uh, let's get to work. So as you can see, the sun is setting. Beautiful, beautiful sun set tonight here on 3B Farm. But uh, we're still uh, working here. And uh, so very happy with how this is coming out. Um, so just to let you know what I did on this side here, uh, I've just got a piece of... Uh, another piece of a pallet that I cut. Um, I took this board off of the back and then one board off of the front um, to really open that up. And uh, then this was from another pallet. So I cut this. Um, when I put the board on the front here, I measured this was six and uh, a quarter. So this would just be based on whatever your pots, uh, your pot depth is if you wanted to try doing this. And uh, then the pots just slip right in like that. And uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, obviously, you don't have to use the pots. Um, a lot of people will just take and uh, fill in this section here. They'll put a board on the bottom uh, down here. They'll put a board here, and they'll fill that in with dirt. But we already had the pots from another attempt that I had at a planter. And so I'm happy with... Uh, how that looks though my wife has stopped going to get pots does that mean that we, we are out of pots no more pots. so we are going to have to buy one more pot uh to finish this planter out but this is going to look really really nice i think it's going to be awesome um we'll put some feet on it and uh, then we will put it right over on the patio so this was a really really easy project it took us less than probably 20 minutes to pull this together uh i used my um Actually, first time using this sawzall. I bought it at a yard sale last year. It didn't have a cord on it. Uh, bought a cord, put a cord on it, and it worked out great. And I cut off, like I said, the one board that was right here in the front, which is now here. And then we cut one off of the back. And uh, I think it looks great. We'll put some feet on it. We'll put it over next to the patio. And uh, I don't want to cut myself. I'm going to put this down. <clears throat> but uh, a very, very easy project. I know many, many variations of this on Pinterest, uh, probably on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, yada, yada, yada. But this is our version. This is the 3B farm version of a herb garden in a pallet utilizing these terracotta pots. So until next time, everybody, I hope you found this helpful. And uh, go forth, build thy own herb garden uh, using what you have on hand. Um, that's what we, we've done here today and it didn't take us very long at all and while the sun sets we're going to go upstairs and uh, well enjoy the rest of our evening. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already please like, share, subscribe and until next time we'll catch you later.